A tiny robot called Feli made history today. This image taken by Feli shows the lander just three kilometers above the surface of the comet. For many of the scientists who work here, it has been a decade-long wait, and now that crucial moment has finally come. Feli has landed. It is the first time in history that a spacecraft has landed on the alien landscape of a comet. I've worked so long on the mission, that was a goal that we achieved this. The orbiter works great, the lander is on the surface, gives signals, so what else do I want more? We showed we had done it. After a seven hour descent from its mothership Rosetta, Philae must get to work. Its job is to learn as much as it can about the comet and as quickly as possible. Its 10 instruments will beam data back to Earth via Rosetta. Philae's cameras will take high resolution images of its new home and terrain. The lander will analyze the composition and structure of the comet's surface material. There's also a drilling system that will dig up material from 23 centimeters below the surface. The lander will also analyze the water on comet P67 to see if it's of the same chemical flavor as that found on Earth. If this is confirmed, it would bolster a theory that at least some of Earth's water could have been brought here by comets. Philae may also collect valuable data as P67 flies closer to the sun. In particular, the question of emergence of life. Why has life emerged on the Earth? How? And the process by which life emerged? Are they generic in the universe or specific to our solar system? This we don't know. It's critical questions and we are convinced that comets have the, the way to offer clues to Desi for that. Whatever happens to the lander, Rosetta will continue to travel alongside the comet and take measurements for at least another 18 months.